Hey, that was such a pathetic wave. Hi guys, it's a new Monday, it's a new week. It doesn't feel like a Monday at all. It's already 4.15 p.m. I haven't done that much. I, um, I'm checking what I did today. <laughs> Oh, nothing. I put my one second clips in the right folder and I sorted that out and then I also imported all of the vlog footage from the last two vlogs. I'm a little behind. I'm one vlog behind. But that's when I found out my microphone has been not working properly for the last like two weeks. So that's great. Um, there was something stuck in my microphone. I kind of got it out with a little bit of this and a little bit of sucking <laughs> i don't think it sounds perfect just yet but i'm not sure i don't want to make it any worse so i'm just gonna leave it like that but yeah it, re it really sucks and i'm not sure what to do with the last two vlogs because i do want to upload them because there's a lot of fun stuff happening in them but you can't hear me properly so we'll see <laughs> i'm gonna edit later today so hopefully i'll figure that out right now i'm gonna run some errands i want to hand in a camera to get it developed the disposable camera I want to get some stuff for one of my friends whose birthday is soon and I need to do some groceries. So that's what's happening. Whew. I'm very warm. <laughs> As you can tell, my face is quite red because this wasn't my intention. Oops. Because of all the dust inside of these dressing rooms, I also tried on some stuff at uh, Pooh and Bear. My face just didn't like that. Um, I went in to just get a few stuff and I ended up getting more than expected, but it's fun. It's fine as well. <laughs> I'll quickly show you what, what I got. Got some apple cider vinegar first of all. That's not very interesting. And then from the same store, which is like a nature store, I also got this Bird's Bees tinted lip balm in the color red Davia, and I've, I have this one already, but it, I think I'm almost out, and it had a 20% discount. It's pretty, really nice. I handed in my old disposable camera, and I got a new one. These are 10 euros, 27 pictures, and I got some correction tape, because I make a lot of mistakes. Then, at H&M, I just walked in because I saw some cute stuff, and then I actually succeeded, which I wasn't expecting. First of all, I got this really nice top it's just pretty basic but it's yeah it makes you look very slim the texture is really nice and it was discounted for only seven euros i think the color looked really really good on me so i was like okay i need to get this i'm really excited about that obviously then i got two sweaters obviously it's basically summer but this sweater was six euros and it's so freaking soft i'm not sure if i'm a, a big fan i thought it looked kind of cool but it says Sacramento, California. I've never been to Sacramento, but that's fine. It's just really, really soft. And orange does it as well. Seven euros or six. Six euros. That's ridiculous. Then I got another sweater in white, which says Brooklyn, New York City. I have been in Brooklyn, so also six euros. And I just really like these crew neck, like cool sweaters i don't know i'm really excited about these and then i got a super fun skirt which i've been looking for something like this for a very long time it's basically a long skirt it's long in the back and then it's a little shorter in the front i'm not sure how to show you because it's all mixed up has a little slit as well obviously flowers i think my friends are gonna hate me for that but that's fine it's just really cute. I'm gonna put this in some water, which I always do with new clothes. And I think I'm gonna shower and rinse all this clothing store off. <laughs> Hi guys, it is 9.30 right now. I'm quite tired, I guess. <laughs> I've been editing a vlog a little. But it's obviously a little bit difficult if you, if you can't hear half of what you're saying because the microphone is not working. So I'm gonna add subtitles tomorrow, but I'm still <laughs> I'm not done with that. I'm like halfway there. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just heading to bed and watching 13 Reasons Why. I haven't started it yet, and it's, I mean, I have. I haven't started the latest season yet. I'm really excited. Um, I know there's a lot of different opinions on this show, but I really enjoy it. Maybe enjoy is not the right word. I don't know. I do think it's a good show. So I'm excited to watch that. I think I'm going to watch an episode or two in bed. I made myself a pot of tea, so I'm going to have some chocolate, I think. 
or some chips I haven't decided yet we'll see and then um, tomorrow I have to work from 10 30 until 5 I'm pretty sure once I wake up I'll have a text saying I can start a half an hour or an hour later so I will be very excited when I receive that text but maybe I shouldn't be too determined about that maybe that's not even happening I'm talking shite let's put the lights on wow I spent the majority of the day under the ground <laughs> in a train station. Now the weather is like this and it sucks, it's thundering, raining, and I think it was hailing just now. Not fun. Hey guys, I'm so sorry my face is a little red and I haven't done my hair today. But it's already 6pm. Like I said yesterday, I was allowed to start work a little later. I started at 11 and I finished at 4.30 instead of 5. It was such a dead shift. There was not much to do, so... I'm so glad I brought my Sudokus because then at least I, you know, I didn't feel bored. Came home around an hour ago, an hour and a half, and I've just been chilling, honestly. I really needed to edit, but I, and I wanted to. But then I texted one of my friends, I need to deliver something basically at her house, and she invited me over for dinner. A few of my friends are there, and I was like, why not? Because I literally was planning on just putting a pizza in the oven. So I'm going over there right now. So now I'm still not editing, which is bad. But I don't know. I think I'm gonna go quickly. I'm gonna put on my rain jacket. It's been raining non-stop. Or it's finally dry? Yes, it's dry for about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you hear that? I'm gonna watch 13 Reasons Why. Martine is moving back in, which is exciting and weird because I've been pretty much on my own for so long. For like, I would say almost almost, almost three months. <gasps> That's insane. I mean, I had another roommate, but we don't really talk. I'm wearing the most comfortable sweatpants I've ever owned in my life. These are from the Zeeman, which is a Dutch store. I paid seven euros for these. And I look like a fuckboy. <laughs> but love it. Good night. We made a cool world. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, I think, today. Yes, yesterday I spent at my friend's house at least part of the afternoon and evening. No, the evening. Which was nice. Um, and then I said I might go there again today because she, my friend is moving so we could help her paint and stuff like that. But. Today I've been an absolute zombie. I had a horrible night of sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night completely drenched in sweat and I don't know. I've also had the weirdest dreams. So that's been fun. Um, it is now 6.30 p.m. I'm about to make my dinner. I'm just going to have a salad. But I'm just annoyed because I've been editing the vlog that was supposed to go up last week. And since my microphone wasn't working I'm adding subtitles which is taking me forever and it's not fun so guys check your camera on time and stuff like that but yeah we're getting there <laughs> yeah guess who's back back again <laughs> hello friends it is currently Thursday it's 14 oh 14 p.m. so 2 14 p.m. I'm gonna make a wish yes yesterday I didn't really vlog that much I think I was a little upset about the previous two vlogs that are a little messed up because of my microphone but I managed to finish the entire vlog and upload it so that's good I still have one more to go that's also a little messed up I've also been annoyed because one of my packages seemed to have been stolen which is fun basically I ordered something of H&M and I wanted it to get delivered to this package machine so you'd have to get a code and then you could get it blah -de blah -de blah but I wasn't receiving the code and I was really confused turns out it got delivered at this store I actually went to that store to check if it was there and they said it wasn't and then H&M and I and Postanel which is the carrier found out um, the package actually somehow uh, was taken by someone on the 7th of June which is weird because it wasn't me and you always have to show your ID when you're picking up a package so I'm pissed off at the shop, I'm pissed off at Postanel for first of all not delivering it at the place that I chose second of all they literally just wished me good luck so they said seems your package is 
uh, taken by someone else. Good luck. Like, what does that mean? Help me. I don't know what to do. And I'm also annoyed because I actually wanted to choose for this delivery thing that says get it now, pay later, but it wasn't working, so I actually paid for this. And it's only 15 euros, but I'm still annoyed because now it's my problem that I need to solve when it's not my fault at all. None of this is my fault, but yeah, so I'm not sure what to do now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm quickly gonna head to the city center for another package that I need to pick up. Hopefully it's there. I accidentally filled in the wrong email address, so it's a little vague if it's there or not. Then I'm also gonna pass the grocery store. I need to get some stuff for myself and also a bottle of wine for one of my friends who is celebrating her birthday this weekend. I have two birthdays this weekend. Oh my lord. Hi guys, I'm back home. It is warm. Um, I succeeded with my package. I wasn't sure if, if I was, but I'm actually... <laughs> Well, <laughs> the package was actually there so i'll show you in a bit i'm now gonna quickly have some food it's 3 20 i was supposed to start working at 4 but i'm allowed to start a little later um so i'm starting at 4 45 look at this beautiful pizza wrap okay the thing i ordered were these nike shorts i've been wanting for a while i'm not even sure why because i don't think i'm gonna wear these in the gym because they're very tight and very revealing and also tiny bit short um my butt isn't poking out or anything but it's just you know i just tried it on it's super comfortable and i might you know wear it around the house or whenever i'm working out here so i'm not mad at this i think it was 22 euros 26 <laughs> those are some random numbers numbers i have no idea hey guys i'm going to a birthday party i'm in a bit of a rush but yeah, nice. I'm catching the train. Love this new skirt. Okay, bye. Look who it is. It's yeah. a Simon. <laughs> Put on a skirt, which isn't the smartest idea because we're cycling to Tone's house. So indeed, it's Tone's birthday. We need to say this to take it home. Okay. Oh! I can't meet all of it yeah, I held it the hated tight over it. This one is well looking for it. Yeah. 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 Oh, oops. <laughs> Luca? The Instagrammer versus the roommate models. It's a matter of What about that? My Hey guys, it's Saturday today. Yesterday was so much fun, so much fun. I almost stayed over, I slept over at Tony's place, but I decided to catch the let's let's <laughs> the last train home, which I'm now really happy about because I could sleep in in my own bed. I'm happy I decided to go home. Um, it is now 5:30 already. I haven't done that much to be honest, but I did film a video. I filmed a get ready with me for my other channel. Um, I'm actually going to another birthday. Um, this time it's Sana, which is also one of my best friends. Um, I'm about to have some dinner, which is literally just like avocado toast. And then I'm catching the train in like an hour or so. So, fun! A true masterpiece. And it gets colder. Yes, she says the 18, so the end of the train. Yeah. Look how good my hosts are. This is my bed for the night. Lisa. And Sandra and Dennis. Hello. I haven't talked to you all day, but I slept over at Sandra's place. I came home at around 2.30. I was traveling by train and I actually walked into one of my old colleagues. She was one of my favorites, so we had a good chat, which was really nice. I've been super lazy. I'm doing several loads of laundry. I'm watching some 13 Reasons Why. It's 7.30 or something and it's time for my bits. 
Ah. Where's the rainbow? Oh, it's really good. Oh my god. It's so pretty. <laughs> quick, get your cameras out. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Paparazzi. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hi, guys. Um, I just realized it's the end of the week and I haven't really talked to you today at all. I'm very sorry, but I've been watching a few episodes of 13 Reasons Why. Spoiler alert. Um, the episode with the shooting drill. What the heck? That was so intense. I mean, who... I think it's really sick if you make a drill that realistic, I guess. That was messed up. Also, I've seen the biggest spoiler. It wasn't really a spoiler. It didn't say much. It just said Justin didn't deserve this. And I'm like, oh, I know he's gonna die. <laughs> I just know he's gonna die. And he's one of my favorites. But I think I have like three more episodes to go. I'm gonna finish or maybe three after this i'm not sure why is that light twitching oh that's unfortunate anyways i'm gonna watch one more episode and then i think i have two or three left um but yeah the week flew by <laughs> i had a good week i think can't remember doing much the first half of the week but the second half was a lot of fun and i feel like i realized i should move to the randstad which is where all the big cities are amsterdam rotterdam utrecht yeah utrecht amsterdam or barcelona is the is, i feel like where I'm, my head is attracting me to right now and i don't know why <sighs> i'm just really a city girl anyways i'm rambling i need to go to bed i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe it's completely free and i'll see you on the next one bye guys